I'm going to go and get some clout for these pictures that I'm about to post on my Instagram from last year and contact the shade room and all this stuff, okay? What up, what up, y'all? It's the world's best friend, and I'm back at it again with another YouTube video. As you can see that title down below, I will be telling you guys a story time of last year's Halloween and how I spent almost $500 on Halloween stuff. Oh yes, almost 500. Call me crazy, I don't care. We had fun, we looked good. Like, come on, look at this. Come on. But before we get too deep into this video, I need you to give me a big thumbs up. You know, it would help me out a lot. Let's get this video to at least 20 likes. Come on now, y'all. We can do that. We can at least do that. If this is your first time ever seeing my face, if you just randomly clicked on me one day and just came across my video, why don't you do me a huge, 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 huge favor and subscribe to my channel. I'm great, I'm funny, I dress like a woman. Only for Halloween though, you know? Make sure you follow me on all my social media, life.of.j on Instagram, lifeofj with two underscores on Twitter, and he is J on Snapchat. So without further ado, let's get into this here story time. And if you can't tell, you know, this cape, hood, cloak, whatever, is Winifred Sanderson. I was one of the Sanderson sisters along with my friend Michael and my friend Cheyenne. Last year, me and my friend Michael went to Spirit Halloween store. We was just going to get like, just regular things, like regular items, just like a cape, probably a mask. Cause we was just, we wanted to do, we wanted to do something for Halloween, but we just didn't know what. So we was just going to create our own like entity or character or something like that. And that's exactly what we did. I picked up a cape, it was like um, a black cape with satin purple on the inside and I had like one of those masks with a little hook, not a hook, like a beak to it. I was gonna be real, I was about to be giving you real haunted, I don't know what it was gonna be, but it was gonna be something trash, I just know it was. Unbeknownst to me and Michael, and we completely like missed out on the section that was Hocus Pocus. If y'all don't know, Hocus Pocus is my favorite Halloween movie to ever exist. It's amazing. Don't debate me because I got time to it. Well, no, I don't because I got to go to work. But anyhow, it was a great movie. Somehow, something caught my eye. We were like about to be standing in line and I was just like, Michael, look at this Hocus Pocus stuff over here. Like, let's go, let's go look at this. Like, oh my gosh, Hocus Pocus. Oh my gosh, I've never seen costumes before. Da, 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 da. So we went over there and then we were just like, oh my gosh, this would be so fun if we saw some people like in Hocus Pocus. When we were about to go and um, buy the items that we went and collected, something just clicked in my head. And I was just like, we have to do Hocus Pocus. We have to do Hocus Pocus. Talk to Michael about it and Michael is gung-ho for anything. And so, we went back over to the Hocus Pocus section and we started looking for sizes. Like, we were not playing games at all. We were dead serious. We were going to be the Sanderson sisters. We just didn't know who wanted to be who, but it, it got down really quickly to who wanted to be who because Michael is, of course, a blonde and he wanted to be the cutest one. And it was just down to me and Cheyenne at this point. And I contacted her and was just like, yo, do you want to, you know, be the Sanderson sisters this year? And she was like, all for it too. So the only thing that we were really like debating about was if he wanted to be like, exactly looking like them or like a glammed up version so we were like kind of torn between the two especially me because i had to have the features like the teeth the 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 lip the no eyebrows the whole run around so like i was saying we went to go get size and see what fit us what didn't fit us and if we were iffy at first that if went out the out the door because when i tell you when i put my costume when i put winifred's costume on i said oh yes oh yes this is this is it. This is gonna be it. I'm gonna be wearing this costume point blank period. There's no stopping me. I'm gonna be Winifred. <laughs> and the lady who was there was helping us out. Her name was Miss Joyce. I don't know where she is, but she was amazing. So like I was saying, Michael tried on his costume and we were just like, yo, this is actually a thing. I think I bought my costume the same day I tried it on. And I was just like, I'm taking this home because what did they run? It was the last extra large, and I was like, I'm not leaving this here for somebody else to come, some other big tall somebody to come and get this. I'm taking this with me, and there's nothing you can say about it. We started this at very early October because we wanted to keep saving money and saving money, and we just kept collecting things here and there to like make the costume look good. We will be making trips to like Spirit every other three, four days and just racking up on stuff. I know for me, I'm a perfectionist and if I'm doing dressing up any kind of way, I want to look my best. So I'm going all out and that's my problem. That was probably my problem. Cause I probably wouldn't have spent as much. You know, everyone has their costumes now. Everyone's looking good. Everyone's trying to get everything that look good. 
it was so many it was so many complications but it was a lot of things that was like trying to be done in such a short time we wanted to get hair we wanted to make sure the hair was right we wanted to make sure like makeup was done we had to book an appointment at Ulta Beauty because no one at the time knew how to do makeup. And the complication with the hair is, did we want to do like accurate hairstyles or did we want to just want to get like the same color and just have it however we wanted to do? And I would be like the ringleader, going to different Halloween stores, getting accessories to make us look like some bad witches. Oh yes, some bad witches. Let me tell y'all my experience with the costume, okay? I'm gonna start breaking down prices as best as I can and I'm gonna try to remember everything because it was a lot of things that I had to get, okay, in order to, you know, finish the entire look of the costume. So, the costume itself was $50, I believe. The cape, this, the cloak, cape, whatever, I think was $24. The socks slash stockings, I think those were like $10 or $10, $9, 12 I don't know for sure. I had to get boots. I needed boots anyway, so the boots were $140. It was Dr. Martin's boots, okay? That's why they were so expensive. Me and Michael got cinchers, and I think the cinchers was like $12, 12 15 I don't know. Booking the appointment and actually paying them to do the makeup, mine was $50 because it was the dramatic look. We went to a beauty store and found my wig for real cheap. It was the last wig, so the wig was $20. It was a discount. Um, what else was it? I bought some buck teeth from Amazon, and I don't know how much they were. We're just going to say 5 or six or seven dollars i bought a choker and i think the choker was like ten dollars oh y'all the nail the nails i legit went to a nail salon and was like i need acrylic nails this long and they were like this long i was like yes i showed them the picture of the nails that winnie um has in the movie and they were like oh you want these long nails i was like yes i don't know how much that was but i think that might have been $40? I don't know for sure. I can't remember. I think I've listed everything. If I if I didn't, I'm gonna leave what I missed like up here somewhere. As y'all can see, this is how we ended up looking. Like we looked good. I don't care how much money I spent. It was such a great experience. We went out, we danced, we had fun. It was so amazing to have because I've never experienced dressing up for Halloween before and just going out having fun. It was it felt like dress up. It was so Fun. I had such a good time and Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies ever so it was just like being the head sister and the only thing though I wish we were actually in character and since we all spent so much money on doing Hocus Pocus we figured that it should be our tradition as friends every other three or four years to just improve on Hocus Pocus and look even better and just do Hocus Pocus every three four years I just wanted y'all to experience you know what I did last year. If y'all have enjoyed this story time about last year's Halloween, do me a huge, huge, huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up. Comment what you were last year for Halloween. Subscribe to my channel and check out some other videos of mine. You won't regret it. I'm a great content creator. Now, if you don't mind, I'm about to go get dressed because um, we can wear costumes at work today. So until I see y'all in the next video, bye y'all.